Now, there's a lot of things you don't do in this world. And, you know, there's some things that are private information that needs to be kept private. But once it falls into the wrong hands, well, let's just say, ladies and gentlemen, that privacy ends up being public. And today's story is something about that. And honestly, it's a fair warning to all you children using your iPhones, going on Snapchat, you know, posting things on the internet. If you want something private, don't take a picture of it in the first place. Be smart with what you do. And that leads into today's story. But before I do, like I usually say, leave a like, subscribe. If you guys do enjoy these stories. And on top of that, make sure you guys do follow me on Instagram. Let's see if we can reach 10K. We're at like 3.5 right now. So 10K would be nice. And when we do reach 10K followers, we're probably gonna be doing a giveaway on something awesome. I know, giveaways. I love them. But other than that, let's get straight into this. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba and welcome back to another crazy story. So today's story is honestly something absurd. It is actually insane. And it is something about basic privacy. Now, back when I was in high school, one popular app that I think we all still love to this day was Snapchat. Snapchat is still popular to this day. And you guys can follow me on Snapchat for any updates. And, you know, I guess seeing me go out and doing the devil's tango. Well, actually, I don't I don't post me doing it. But chances are you're going to see me in a club and with a bunch of women. But going on, I remember back when I was in high school, like I said, Snapchat was the most popular app. And a lot of girls used it. It was the main way to communicate and stuff and go through things. And I remember during my grade 11th year, we had a new group of grade nines come in. If you guys don't know, grade nine is like the new like year it's the new age of like you know when you transition to high school and honestly when you first enter high school i don't know what it is with grade 12s in my high school at the time but they would consider them fresh meat yeah i'm kind of grossed out too don't worry we're, we're both grossed out in this situation but i remember that when the grade nines were getting a tour of the school and you know the school year was just beginning i remember me and my friends were kind of just walking down the hallway and just kind of like you know saying hi to some of them that were walking by now me i was not interested because what when you're in grade nine you're like what 14 turning 15 that's gross and i would stay away from that but you know i said my hi i said hello and i walked away and i remember there was one grade nine that was staring me down always and asking me for my snapchat but i always said no to her because i'm 16 she's 14 that's gross i no no just ugh. and after meeting them and you know saying hello to most of them i walked away and honestly i just said screw it i don't want to talk to any of them they're not worth it you that's gross I'm not doing something illegal i do not want the fbi opening my door i do not want to catch a case now some of you guys are probably going to be like oh you want to catch a case like you were 16 and like she was 14 you guys gotta understand that a brain is not fully developed especially a child's brain until like you're the age of like 18 to 19. So like, you know, just hitting on someone back in high school that young was just not it. My golden rule was always a year younger or two years older and it still is the rule to this day. But going on, I remember one time as I was walking around the school and I was kind of just, you know, chilling and stuff. And funny enough, I was talking to my friends. I remember my friend came up to me saying, yo, bro, like there's this grade nine that was asking for your snap apparently. And uh, she wanted it. So I just gave it to her. You don't have to thank me. You can thank me later. And I look at him and I go, what? I realized that he ended up giving my Snapchat to the grade nine. And when I checked my phone, I saw I got an ad on there saying, blah, 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 added you. Yeah, no, thank you. I remember I looked at my phone and she was staring me down as my friend walked up to me. And I remember I declined it or declined by decline. I mean, I pressed X on it. And she was always confused. She tried messaging me, but always went on pending. And I remember one time at lunch, she walked up to me saying, hey, like, why didn't you add me back? Like, do you have a, like, a problem with me? Like, do we have like a beef or something? I look at her and I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm just like not interested. Like, it's just, it's just me. And I kind of just told her, you know, shoo in a sense. I know it's kind of crazy how we went from telling stories about me always doing the devil's tango to well now me saying no to a chick it's kind of changing it's it's life changing actually and honestly like i said it was the rare occasion of me saying no but this specific girl i said no because obviously for me the age gap is important going on though i remember i walked away and i remember she walked away and we went our separate ways she went to her classes i went to my classes a week went by and i remember my friend came up to me saying yo bro like check out this chick bro she ended up sending my friend at the time a snap Snapchat of her cherries, of her literal cherries. And the fact that he showed up to me made me want to gurp. I literally looked at it and I'm like, whoa, bro. I put my hand on my eyes. I'm like, I do not want to see that. Put it away. He ends up putting it away. And I'm like, dude, she's like 15, like 14 turning 15. Like, why would you show me that? He's like, dude, you're 16. I'm like, I don't care. I'm 16. That's gross. And I walked away. Now, before anything, I should probably let you guys in a deep secret here. Boys talk, girls talk. Nothing's really private in this world. If something gets passed around, it's going to be passed around. And this is where the situation gets worse. I remember the next day people were talking about this girl and basically talking about her cherries. And honestly, I was grossed out. And I remember one time there was a guy who walked up to the grade nine and said, yo, what's going on, shorty? And started grabbing her peach. And after that, he said afterwards, I think everyone saw those cherries you got, baby girl. Let me squeeze them a little bit. Whoa, what? I could tell that this girl wasn't happy. And I remember I walked in and I intervened and I'm like, yo, bro, like just stay away from her. That's gross. Like that's generally gross. The guy looked at me, which I should probably mention he was in 
grade 12 literally decided to punch me. Yes, I got punched for a grade nine that was sending explicit photos to guys in the school. Gross. Why did I do it? Why did I take a punch? Well, I don't know. It just kind of just happened. I, I can't explain it, honestly. I always have like that instinct where it's like I have to do something and go do it. But in this situation, it was just kind of crazy. I got punched. She starts freaking out. Teacher starts coming in and this whole conversation ended up happening. And I remember I got sent to the office. He got sent to the office. He ended up going home for, you know, doing physical abuse and I was stuck in school. I went to my next class and obviously everyone knew I got punched. So it was kind of embarrassing throughout the whole day. And I remember at the end of the school day, the grade nine that came up to me that I defended in a sense said, Hey, like, why'd you take that punch? Like, I thought you weren't into me. Like, do you want to like, maybe like hang out? And she started putting her body up against mine and kind of like basically trying to like seduce me. I don't know. I honestly, it was pretty clear that she wanted to do the devil's tango with me. And I'm not going to lie back in high school. I had that reputation of always doing the devil's tango. But like I said, I had a golden rule for ages and she did not respect that, I guess. So I remember I pushed her off me and I said, listen, I'm not into you too young. I don't want to talk to you. Just leave me alone. She ended up putting her arms across her like chest. And she's like, are you serious? Like, is it because you don't find me attractive? Like, what is your issue? It's seriously like we're only two years apart. You cannot make such a big fuss over the little things. You're such a bum. She said something worse, but honestly, yeah, uh, yeah. YouTube monetization. I remember she walked away from me and all the grade 12s were looking at me every single one. And they all came up to me saying, bro, like that's a good thing. You got away from that hole. What? Everyone started pulling out their phones after I said what? And they all had photos of her. All of them. All of them had photos of her. And I was curious. I was like, why do you guys have these like in your phone? Like what's going on? You guys are weird. Like what? Then they ended up telling me that she didn't send them to everyone. It got spread around. Everyone found out that she was sending photos to one guy and it spread from another to another to another. And the worst part is that I knew exactly who the guy was. It wasn't the grade 12 that punched me earlier. It was another person. The person that showed me the photo in the first place. And I remember I walked up to him, which he used to be a good friend of mine, but not anymore. And I told him, you better delete those photos right now or I'm literally going to call the cops on you. You do not hold those photos. You do not spread those photos. She sent them to you in private. You keep it private. You're really messed up for that. And I said that in front of everyone and I walked away. Later, I found out that the girl that, you know, had photos spread about her was sitting in a corner of a room in a classroom crying. I remember I walked in there and I'm like, hey, I'm not into you. I'm not, you know, in any way like wanting to talk to you or call you a hoe or anything. But honestly, get yourself in check. Don't send those types of photos to people, especially at this age. We're all idiots. <laughs> and I walked away. Knowing I had the reputation of doing the devil's tango, she questioned me a lot. But honestly, to this day, I'm still her friend and I still care about her and I still support her. And no, we never ended up doing the devil's tango for all you guys wondering. But anyways, guys, that is basically it for the story. Um, Honestly, the main thing to take out of this, you know, be safe with what you do and only send to people you trust or actually fun fact, don't do it at all. What's private is meant to be private. Let's keep it that way. Anyways, like I always say, follow, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you dudes in the next story. Peace out, guys.